In the previous lecture, we defined concepts known as luminous flux, luminous intensity, and illuminance of visible light. Now let's apply these concepts to the following example. But first, let's define the luminous efficiency. So we define luminous efficiency of a light bulb as the ratio of the luminous flux of the light produced by that bulb to the electric power required by that same bulb. Now let's begin with part A. A 100 watt light bulb is rated with a luminous flux of 1700 lumens. So this quantity represents how much power is delivered by the light and this quantity is how much power is required by that light bulb to power that light. So we want to find the luminous efficiency and the illuminance of the bulb at a distance of 3 meters away. So, let's begin by calculating the luminous efficiency. So that's equal to the ratio of the luminous flux to the power required by our bulb. Now because this is a ratio, the units of the numerator has to be the same as the units of the denominator. So our numerator is the luminous flux, which is equal to 1700 lumens. Remember, lumens and watts both both mean power. Now the denominator is 100 watts so we have to convert watts into lumens. So the denominator is 100 watts multiplied by well there are 683 lumens in 1 watt. So that means 100 watts multiplied by 683 lumens per watt. The watts cancel and we're left with lumens. So 1,700 lumens divided by 100 multiplied by 683 lumens. And that gives us about 0.025 is our luminous efficiency. So the percentage is simply this multiplied by 100 and that gives us 2.5. So now let's move on to the second section. Now we want to find the illuminance. So illuminance of our light is simply the luminous flux, the power delivered by our light per area, the area that that light falls on. So we know that the distance from the point of origin of the light is 3 meters. So basically the surface area that we're looking at is the surface area of the sphere produced by a radius of 3 meters. So this is our light bulb and we're looking at the light that falls onto the following area of a sphere found 3 meters away. So the flux divided by the surface area of the sphere. So our flux is 1700 lumens. The surface this area is 4 pi multiplied by the square of the radius, where the radius is 3 meters. So we plug that into our calculator and we see that our illuminance of our bulb is 15 lumens per meter squared. Now let's move on to part B. How many such light bulbs would be needed to provide light to a room floor with an area of 5 meters times 10 meters, assuming that the required illuminance of the floor is 120 lumens per meter. So basically, in part 1 of section B, we basically want to calculate the total power in lumens that is required by the area of the floor. So 120 lumens per meter squared multiplied by 5 meters times 10 meters, that gives us 6,000 lumens is required by the floor. Now, in the second step, we want to basically calculate the number of light bulbs required. Now, we know from part A that each light bulb delivers 1,700 lumens. So that basically means to calculate the number of light bulbs, we take the total power in lumens and divide it by the power delivered by each bulb. So 6,000 lumens divided by 
by 1,700 lumens per bulb gives us about 3.5 bulbs. So we can estimate that we require about 4 bulbs to light our floor of the room.